A decade of Delmarva life. We continue our look back through the years. Today, we're revisiting a moment that really meant the world to It us. really did. It really, really did. We're going to go back almost uh, 10 years. Uh, David Ogden Stiers visited historic Studio D. Now, you might know him better as Major Charles Emerson Winchester III, a surgeon on MASH. He was a delightful interview, one that we are so pleased to share with you again today. Now, you, a lot of people know you from MASH, mm -hmm. um, but your career stretches way beyond that. Where did you start? How did you get into acting? Holy moly, when you're growing up as, a, as a, an only child in rural Illinois and you don't make friends easily, there's a lot of imaginary play that goes on. And after a while you realize that you can imaginarily play on a, on a stage and people like it when you, when you do that. Nobody ever said, go away. I, I kept honing what I then thought of as a, as a craft. By the time I got out of high school, I'd done 25 plays, Shakespeare, M Moliere, Gilbert and Sullivan, <clears throat> and uh, and I figured since no one had actually uh, told me to get lost, <laughs> I'd, I'd keep doing it. <laughs> now, what you've done uh, on MASH is a very small part of everything that you have done. Uh, it was a successful series when you joined. What was it like to join that cast, that crew, that show? Terrifying. Really? Yeah. Uh, but I had never seen the show, and uh, I had done the, the, some Mary Tyler Moore episodes as a very unlovable uh, person, a stutterer. And the producer of MASH had seen that. They were losing Larry Linville, and uh, they called my agent and said, would you like to join uh, the, the, the series? I said, I would love to, but I've never seen it. So they set up screenings. They, they screened four episodes, and I was floored, because it's everything you look for, for writing, ensemble, um, depth of storytelling and the ability to go really funny without a gear shift, mm -hmm. just like real life. You're, you, you are now working um, with orchestra. Well, I have been for 20 years or so. Um, oh. I went to Juilliard and uh, in the drama division, and and uh, I would cut classes to go watch conductors rehearse the, any one of the four orchestras uh, then at the at the school and I didn't realize I was building in a stick technique somewhere in the back of my brain that I would be using later and people invite you to do fundraisers for orchestras they'll fly you there treat you like a little gold bucket and and uh, you get to, to play with an orchestra and the learning curve is horrific um, first appearance was a Portland Symphony Maine um, and I stood up to, to give the downbeat for uh, the Beethoven King Stephen Overture, made sure everybody was attentive, eyes down at the score to make sure I wouldn't screw up. Downbeat, silence. What? <laughs> What's wrong? And the, the uh, principal trumpet raised his hand and said, man, I'm not trying to play hard to get. I need your eyes. I need to know that you're serious about that downbeat. Of course you need my eyes. <laughs> so uh, during the broadcast, what he got was, <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, uh, during this trip, you'll be able to add doctor to your title. Holy moly, yes. Yeah. I, I'm, I still think this is a result of a typing error. I'm, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to grab the thing before they realize it. Uh, UMES is, is giving me an honorary doctorate uh, Friday morning. I speak blessedly briefly. Uh, there, there's another uh, honoree that, that is doing the, the commencement address, mm -hmm. so they're limiting me to five minutes, which I think is actually wise, because that means eight in, in Dave's speech. <laughs> uh, um, and I have no idea what the, what the degree is in. Oh. I don't know what the... Just just because. Advanced snarkery. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What kind of car do you drive? <laughs> I'm sorry, did I hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> do you, uh, can you? Can you grab a shot of my socks? Uh -oh. Of your socks? Of your socks. Yes. Okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> see you. <laughs> nice. Yep. I That's drive a Tesla. A... Wow. Really? Yep. Number 57 of the first 100, and I just turned over 30,000 miles, and I was weeping with joy. 30,000 miles of no pollution, no noise. Um, this thing is so reliable. Well, it's a light switch. Yeah. Um, and, and I oh, darn have to drive to Seattle for periodic <laughs> uh, uh, checks. And they download the, the new software mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. into the car through a USB in the in the port. So I have an absolutely new car every time I drive away from the service. Wow. So, and I'm about to trade it in on the sedan. Please look it up online. Okay. Um, zero to 60 in 4.4 seconds. Oh my. Seven passengers, two trunks. Hmm. 320 mile range, 45 minute fast charge. And you'll give us a ride after. All right, speaking of <laughs> computers, if Big you would cost. like to purchase tickets, uh, go to delmarvinlife.com tickets to see the show tomorrow night. Click on the show tab. I, I'm amazed at how bright and personable and down to earth people are who, who work these things. You're technically really advanced, but you're among the nicest and best I've, I've had the pleasure we of. We try uh, not to let that happen. <laughs> uh, it, well, I, I know your behavior off stage, so uh, that's, yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> couldn't be clearer. Thank you so much for explaining. We appreciate it. <laughs> Ten years ago, seems like it was just yesterday or 20 years ago. Wasn't it? Yeah, and, and, and one number 57? 57 of the first of, 100. Of the first Teslas, and now we see them all over the place. You know, it fascinated me with him, and I, didn't, I don't know why I didn't think about this. The more we sat with him, it was like peeling back the layers of an onion. Mm -hmm. You found out something even newer every yeah. time. It was incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Um, David Ogden Stiers passed away four years ago, almost exactly to this day. Yeah, and you might remember just this past October, we found out that his estate released a gift of more than $50,000 to UMES to establish a scholarship fund.